Suppose the current in a certain circuit is as measured by an ammeter is a continuous random variable with the following PDF, 0.075x plus 0.2, where x is from 3 to 5. First, we want to calculate the expectation, then the variance, and then the standard deviation of x. So to start, the expectation of a continuous random variable is equal to the integration over the sample space, for, so from the lower bound up to the upper bound, x times our PDF, so x times 0.075x plus 0.2dx. And so now we should just to make integration easier is to distribute the x through and we get the integration from 3 to 5 of 0.075x squared plus 0.2x dx. And now if we integrate, we will get 0.075x cubed over 3 plus 0.2x squared over 2. And we will evaluate this from 3 to 5. And so if we plug in 5, we will get 0.075 5 cubed over 3 plus 0 0.2 5 squared over 2 minus 0 0.075 3 cubed divided by 3 minus 0 0.2 3 squared over 2. And so these expressions each equal 3.125 plus 2.5 minus 0 0.675 minus 0 0.9 respectively. All right, so if we evaluate that expression, we get the expectation to be equal to 4.05. So on average, the amount of current that's going through the certain circuit is 4.05. Zero 0.05. All right, so this is also in notation equal to mu x, or again, this is the expectation of x. All right, so to find our variance of x, the variance of a continuous random variable, v of x, is equal to the expectation of x squared minus the expectation of x squared. So this value is just 4.05. We already know that value, but the expectation of x squared we don't know, and we actually have to calculate that. So this is equal to the expectation of x squared is then the integration again over the sample space. And all we do here is just multiply our PDF by x squared. So x squared times 0.075x plus 0.2dx. And again, if we distribute our x squared through, we will get 0.075x cubed plus 0.2x squared. And we wanna take the integration of this from three to five with respect to x, and if we integrate, we will get then 0 0.075 divided by 4 x to the fourth plus 0 0.2 x to the third divided by 3. And this will be evaluated from 3 to 5. If we plug in the numbers, just like we did in the previous example, we then get a value of 16.7. All right, so this is the expectation of x squared. And now we can plug this into our formula up here. So this is equal to 16.733 minus the expected value, 4.05 squared. And again, I got that from over here. And so our variance is then equal to 0.5. 3305. And so now that we've found the variance, we can easily find the standard deviation of x, which is just simply equal to the square root of our variance. So this is the square root of 0 0.3305, which is equal to 0 0.5. Seven four nine. All right, and so this is how we can calculate our variance and our standard deviation.